So GameStop has a very bad problem with these retro games. A lot of fake games are being sold. Guys, I'm Mr. Rightway, and you know I love GameStop. I love getting great deals. And I got an amazing great deal today at GameStop with Pokemon XD. And yes, this game is 100% complete. I actually got this for like $65. After the trade-ins, my GameStop Pro membership and military discount, and walked away with a near $200 game for $65. You can find great games at GameStop, but sometimes if you're not careful, you can run into this. Let's look at this together. All right, as you see right guys, look at this. All these games I got here in GameStop, right? Look at that Earthworm Gem, them games on Genesis. We don't get back to those. Which ones on this do you think? Now there goes the uh, XD that I did get right here, right? But yes, look at this Earthworm Gem too. This right here is completely fake. Look how shiny this cartridge is, yeah, and I did drop it. But look, look how shiny that is. That's not even the real cover, or the it just it's sad, right? The real cover, or is the real sticker that goes on the game? This is a really big issue if people are going to buy retro games at GameStop. Now, I have a couple ideas of how to fix this if you listen to GameStop because I know you guys are listening but also too I want you guys to make sure if you're buying games if you're buying these retro video games at GameStop don't get too excited make sure you check especially with cartridge games now a couple of videos ago you saw that I found these two games at Goodwill for like three dollars a piece great games you know we got Mario and we got Earthbound Go back and check those out because I opened those games up and it shows you what you need to do. Before you buy games at GameStop, guys, make sure that you look it up on the internet. If you're buying a game, right, make sure you look at that cover art. Make sure it's legit. Because cover arts like the Earthworm Gem that you just saw should not be that shiny. Now, over time, some games will keep that glossiness, just like this Mario game right here. Some games like that, but with Sega games, a lot of those are kind of like matte finished or a matte finished base. Some Sega games do have a very shiny sticker on the cart, but a lot of times they don't. And also people will sell these fake games to GameStop just to get the credit. Now, the Earthworm Gym games, let's go online and let's check these games out. All right, here we are with Earthworm Gym. As you can see, this game is $19. If you got a pro membership, it's seventeen dollars. But let's jump over to let's jump over to eBay, right? I already got this pulled up. As you can see, let's look at this real bit. Look at these covers. I always like the cotton covers on old school, but the artwork seventeen dollars, eighteen dollars, nineteen dollars. You can see this picture right here, right? Look at that. Now let's go to this. Now let's go to the video. You can see right here the picture of the video. It doesn't add up, right? It does not add up. Another thing, if you're just trading your games into GameStop, be aware of the prices that you're going to get. We'll talk about that in a minute, but look at this. We're going over here, right? Earthworm Gym on the Sega Genesis. You get up to $6.60. I guess it's okay because you're getting half the value they're selling it for. But you probably can sell it on eBay a little cheaper. But if you don't want to deal with all that stuff, you could. Across the board, Earthworm Gym 2, a more desirable game, right? And I'm, I don't want to say it's a better game, but it's fun. $6.60. Super Nintendo, $7. Earthworm Gym 3, $22. As you can see, this is kind of an issue if you don't know what you're looking for. First, you can get a fake game or people out there who are up to no good can sell a fake game and get the little bit of money that it, I don't understand why would you want to sell fake games at GameStop for like six dollars but some people are weird so how so how do we fix this I got three good reasons my first reason is have employees that know about video games working at a video game store. Do these employees know what retro games are? I have ran across several employees, like today, didn't really even know what a GameCube game was. The age difference is a huge factor. A lot of people 
did not grow up who were GameStop, playing GameCube, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64. A lot of people who work in there, and especially in my area, I find out that don't know anything about those, and that's an issue. So GameStop, if you do not want to hire people that love video games, that know about video games, all that kind of stuff, that's fine, do what you want to do. But this will help you out. Train these people that you're hiring about retro video games. Have these people open up the video games, look at boards, when they bring in any kind of, especially high-end, high-dollar video games that you want to sell, because it's only going to get worse. You guys have been doing this for the last 10 years. Come on, you gotta get it right. This is the internet, people talk, or if you just don't really care about it, and you this is your last ditch effort to save GameStop, this could really be a huge thing for you guys, if you get it right, because physical media is dying, but the retro market is thriving. A lot of people want retro video games. A lot of people want retro games in their collection, guys. It's so simple, it's so easy. You don't want somebody to like pick up Pokemon XD, right? And they get a and they get a fake instruction manual, right? Or God forbid, a bootleg disc, which they can bootleg this, guys. Luckily, I checked this out and it's and it's 100 accurate. Now, number three, a huge thing that they can do is, guys, increase the trade amount on your video games. Do you know how many people will trade in video games, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Nintendo 64, all of these games, and they trade these games in, they get like, say, $25 to $30 for trading this in, maybe $50? I don't know. That'd be a little bit much. $50 for this game is a little too much because it's going to cost $50. But if you give half the amount or something like that for like pro members, don't you know how many people are signing up for a pro membership who are trading in games to get other games? But to everybody else down in the comments below, let me know. Just tell me what other ideas for GameStop they should do. You know, I know a lot of people hate GameStop and I know this comments are going to be on fire about GameStop doing this, GameStop doing that. But since they've been doing retro video games, I've been really going back to GameStop full time and looking for these retro games. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun, guys. I found a lot of good stuff. Like I said, I found Pokemon today. It was a great, great buy. But these fake games, wow. It is crazy. So, so let me know down in the comments below what you think. And guys, always remember to do it the right way. GameStop, get your stuff together. Okay? See you next time.